Hey everyone, Vickerman here. We're back with Stories of the Path of Destinies. And uh, we have assembled the Sky Ripper. We got the armature, we got the crystal. We went to the scientists and they were somewhat unhelpful. Uh, they basically said, hey, the dude who you talked to before this whole thing started, yeah, you need to go talk to him. So that's annoying. We could just say, hey, not gonna worry about it, we're gonna go to the rebel base. Uh, or we should find him. You know, I think we ought to find him. Maybe he knows what's going on. To leave when he was stopped I mean, we did uh, we did choose to find out what to do. There are rumors that the Ravens are searching for an ancient artifact on a nearby desert island. There are legends the of Iblis stone. Iblis stone. A gem of great and evil power. Where is this evil island? Evil power, huh? Yeah, sort of that way, hmm. said the toad, pointing Temple vaguely location west. revealed. The fleet was already there. There was nothing Renato could do about it. For the moment. Ah, well, he should have known okay. he had to consult Calaveras again. The scientists at the observatory were smart enough. But what did they know of the transcendent emperor? Obviously he very little. He delay him too long. The rebels had scheduled the final battle soon. Every day they delayed risked the exposure They've of the They scheduled secret the base. final battle. And some soldiers were already drifting back to their homes and families. Calaveras would fix the Sky Ripper for him. And then he I would I thought I the fixed it correctly. Battle. Well, okay, Calaveras, the ancient wise toad. Everyone's a toad who's smart in this game. Uh, and a dashing fox as well. But after a few and steps, silly rabbits. Optimism started to slump. What if Calaveras couldn't help? Did Renato dare use the Sky Ripper? Oh, he hated that he had chosen this path. It was so much simpler to rescue friends and attack enemies. Even if That's some of true, those friends man. were more trouble than his enemies, some of those enemies had been friends before and might be lovers after. No, oh, lovers. No, it huh? wasn't all that much simpler. No, physics made his brain hurt. That. At least he was sure of. <laughs> okay, this appears to be the way forward. Is there a chest over here? That's kind of the logic behind all this. Didn't I just kill your brother? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Come here. That's how you do it. Ooh, let's dash. Yes, sir. Dead warlock. Ho, ho, ho. Well, let's... Oh, you're already stunned. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't think the different swords have a different basic attack amount. At least not that I have gathered. It's just the special ability, so... I mean, technically, the fire sword does more damage if you, if you set the enemy on fire. Alright, so we've got... That thing going on. We've got a hero door here. It's two of them, actually. What? Interesting. I don't know. Let's go this way. What else could you hook? Ooh, this is the right choice. All right, where are we now? More treasure. Ooh, nice. That's a lot of treasure. What if we can upgrade the fire sword now? Well, we don't have enough ore. I'm sure. Okay, I'm getting the perk strikes, I think. It's just a matter of uh, kind of watching the sword swing and 
You know, go on from there. Tried to focus on the now. The ravens who seemed everywhere all the time. Where did they hatch from? Were That's not the now. Giant raven hatcheries somewhere, or did they have families? Ooh, he didn't want to think about raven mummies raising their darling raven chicks. Yeah, no, you shouldn't think about that. He would make Renato feel better about using the Sky Ripper. And then Renato wouldn't have to worry about ravens ever again. Hmm. Might not need to worry about anything ever Renato's again. Renato's paws were getting numb. Calaveras really didn't want company, did he? That's a long way up. Alrighty. Don't really need this. The chance of getting ore seems to be not that much. It appears to be an ice door. I guess it must be because it's the same color as everything else here in this frozen wasteland. Huh? A lever? That was new. Ah. Most people still use doorknobs. I see. So we do that. Yep. The there we go. Were counting on Renato. He hoped Calaveras knew what he was doing. Of course he does. He'll save the day, I'm sure. Or save my day, so I can save everyone else's day. All right, what do we got? What is this? Countering attack now causes damage. Hmm. Let's do faster speed. That'll be all right. Calaveras had never let him down. Oh, oh wise old toad. Work but when Renato explained his about mustache the strings, is coming out of his nostrils, grew thoughtful. That oh, is frightening. Strings, you say? Well, the Arcana do speak of the ties that bind the world. He drew many intricate oh, yes, symbols in the dirt. String theory. Yeah, so, um, according to my calculations, uh, each time you fire, I'm afraid there's a one in 120 chance you'll destroy the universe. Oh. That's pretty good okay. odds. Okay. That's like rolling, what, 21 dice and they all come up six. What are the odds of that? What? No! It's more like 2.716s in a row. Anyway, with those <laughs> odds, it won't happen if I use it just once. What? No, 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 no. That, that, that's so not right. Each time you use it... Okay, look. Just don't use it ever. At all, okay? All right. I want to gamble the whole universe there. As he sailed away from the mountains... Bernardo could see clouds darkening. Rain? No. No. Ships. Imperial ships. Much more sinister than bees. rain. This was it. The big battle. They could not afford to lose this one. It what was it right on time, now? right on schedule. What if he had to use the Sky Ripper? Could he gamble the universe? Of course oh, I can. Hand. What were the odds of rolling 21 sixes in a row? Didn't you listen? It isn't right. It isn't right at all. That's more like four, one in, I don't know, some number times 10 to the whatever power. Really high. That's not right. The toad was correct, Renardo. The battle was not going spectacularly well. Hmm. What had the rebels been thinking? Hey, I don't They've think we got any, uh, bring the sky any ore. Or the Iblis stone. Or that he'd sideline Zenobia somehow. Or turn her. Couldn't he use the sky ripper just once? Uh, we, maybe Not we all. should. If chances were 1 in 128, that meant he'd for sure be okay the first time. They'd that is how that works. It, but the first time would be okay, right? He wasn't sure that it was right. So he didn't fire the Sky Ripper. He just brought it along in case. It's gonna say yet. Oh, but you see, we need to. The portal was heavily guarded. Come on, ye ravens! Whoa! 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 
Oh, oh my goodness. Counter all y'all. That's what I'm saying. Whoa, buddy. Come here. Not you. I want the warlock. Die. Let's use a Sky Ripper on these guys, huh? That's pretty stylish right there. You do get style ratings for your combat. Which is nice. I have no idea what it calculates. Maybe variety? That seems to be the most likely thing, but... I don't know. Imagine getting a horse up in one of these things. It will be cursing a blue Here we stick. go. Nice uh, weather effect here, actually. Come on. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? You know, we haven't seen any shield guys, which is a little strange. That's another thing you can do. The uh, the Warlocks thing actually hits anything in the radius. So you can uh, use your hook thing to get someone into the radius and then get out of there yourself. It's an effective strategy. Whoa. Hey there. Oh. Get out of there. Oh no. Heal. No. Oh no. Aha. Uh -huh. Jeez. He caught me off guard there. Get out of there. Come here. Come here. Warlock. Let's heal. Someone had told him the odds didn't change just because you'd had a streak of good luck. Oh, jeez. His gut told him that was wrong, though. And he always listened to his gut. On the other hand, 120... They do say you should win. listen One to your gut. Destroy the universe. You know, frankly, a lot of times it's right. A bit serious. Maybe he could defeat the Emperor without firing the Sky Ripper. Maybe he could bluff, but with a real weapon. Like in cards, when you had three names, but you pretended you had a Fizzbin. That could work. Okay. But I, but I do have it, that's the thing. Yeah? Come on. Poor Lapino. I just remembered him. We left him to die. Oh, should have got that energy. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Saw him. Too late. Okay, time is now. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, what next? What next? Seems like I should go over there, but no. Oh, okay, here we go. This must be the Emperor's ship, this big one to the left there. Because, you know, if you're the imp Oh, it's a shield! Shield grunts will block your attacks. Grab and throw another grunt into him. And his shield will be knocked away. Fantastic. Alright, let's get you and do that, huh? Yeah. We'll kill you both. <laughs> oh, yes.
Oh, hey. No! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ow. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should kill everyone else first. Okay. There we go. And Shazam. Alright, let's bust some stuff. Oh. Oh. He set up the Sky Ripper and let it warm up. He would bluff if he had to. Okay. Zenobia came out, flanked by a very daunting platoon of ravens. You won't actually use that. She said in that annoying, I know everything because I'm a cat and you know nothing because you're just a fox. I know all about Shad. that. Or I know the odds. Good. Because there's a real chance you could destroy the universe. Oh, well, yeah. Not the first time I use it. The odds are too low. True. Uh, no. Yeah, sure. The first time, the odds are practically nothing. The only go up if I use it a bunch more times. Yeah, no, that's how it rose. That's not how odds work. <laughs> Didn't you pay attention in class? Well, now, no. Or I'll use it. Just once, he said. Don't. He felt sure the odds were with him. You have to go with his gut. That's what heroes do. Fire, he said. Please? The Sky Ripper fired. Ooh. With a tremendous whoosh, the Emperor's flagship went up in flames. It was awesome. And then hmm. he noticed what? there was a hole in the air. A blackness like a tear in a parchment. No. Wind was blowing into it, widening it. It grew larger and even larger. Ah. Crates fell upwards into it, and the world itself seemed bent, like the reflection on a curved mirror as it poured into the ravenous hole. Ah, one in a hundred and twenty-eight. What are the odds? <laughs> Thought Fernando, and then everything fell into the hole and was gone. Well, the universe okay, that was is gone. Weird. He could have sworn he just died. Instead, he was on the Farfarer, sailing away from Ubar. And it was still burning. It was still burning. He'd fled burning Ubar years ago, hadn't he? And hmm. now he was back there. Had all those years fighting the Empire been nothing but a vision into the future? A useful vision, if it was true. He learned something. It's true. The core was powerful. Dangerous. But dangerous if used improperly. Thought we used it as properly as we could. All right, so we've completed story number twenty-one. I told you there were a lot of them. The Sky Rover's Guide to the Galaxy. A hero who was willing to risk space, time, the universe, and everything if the odds are in his favor. Five fire essence. So yeah, 20, if this is a story 21, then we've unlocked uh, tier two skills. We've learned a new truth that the Sky Ripper core is unstable. Unlock the desert temple. So if this is number 21, then it looks like we got 22, 23, 24 maybe? If they're in order, I guess. The rest of the truths, we do not know. You see, we, uh, now we hit continue, We've made bad choices. and we go back in time. But like now, I said, when the sort of a Groundhog came, Day effect, or make those Majora's Mask. He wouldn't make the same mistake twice. Now we know something, began to flip backwards and we can the beginning. find he out more and use our knowledge to our benefit. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. So now we Ravens will have the, the same choice again. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how so to now we, safely. now that we know the truth, also, it gives us more information as we out of empty go throughout, and the narrator will comment on it quite a lot. Of Actually, by his obscene pretty well uh, Could this be where the entwined 
Someone better get it before he does, thought Renato. On the other hand, his old friend Lepino needed rescue. That's true, Lepino. Lepino was no game changer, but could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Mm, that's a good, that's a good point, man. So now that we've been through once, we can view our stories anytime we want. Like that. Back to choices. Back to stories. Back to choices. Yes. Okay, well, thanks for watching. And in the next episode, we will begin story two. We'll see you then.